Once you create a ThingLink account, here's where you need to go. Choose your image or drag and drop here. I'm just going to click on the blue button and go find where my picture is located. Here's one that I'm going to use from an entrepreneurship camp that I did this summer. So I'll choose my picture, click open, and then wait while it loads. After it loads, it will appear here. I want to give my image a title, and I'm going to call this Entrepreneurship Camp. And wait for my picture to load. Okay, now I just choose anywhere on the picture that I want to add a link. So maybe right over here where there's these pictures of the hats, I will click there. And the first thing I want to do is to add a web link called BizKids. So I'm going to copy my link and paste it in here. And then I want text to appear, um, much like when you move your mouse over the top of it, um, a tag will show up. And I want this tag to say BizKids. And so there it is. Once I have the tag, I'll hit Save Link. And I'm going to choose another one up here. And this one I'm actually going to link to the theatrical shop because that's where we are in the picture. So I'll include the link and say theatrical shop in Valley Junction in West Des Moines, Iowa. And I will save my tag. And there it appears. Uh, you can also add videos. So maybe um, down here. I'm going to add another tag with this YouTube video of 99 business ideas for kids. And I'll include the link. And I'm actually going to put that in there. And I will save my tag. So you start to have all of these tags. Um, it also might be, like maybe here, I just want to add a description of what's going on. Um, so I might say, this is a picture of a uh, fifth and sixth grade field trip during entrepreneurship camp. Fifth and sixth graders on a field trip during entrepreneurship camp. And it's okay just to have text. So your thing link should have a variety so that we know that you understand the topic. So once you're done, you have all of the links that you want. I'm going to hit save in the bottom right hand corner. And then you can choose share. And right here, it gives you the embed code. This is what you want uh, to be able to place on your blog. And I'll do a separate screencast to show you how to do that.